guys, welcome back to another episode of Farming Simulator 2013 Titanium Edition with me, Brad M73. And uh, as you can see, we're picking up from where we left off in the last episode. And uh, hopefully everything will be going smoothly. I think it will. Um, so yeah, what we're doing is... Um, we're basically harvesting all of our fields. You can see field 21, 18, 16, 17, and 10 at the moment. Looks like he's offloading there. Let's see how we're doing down on field 21. Uh, let's see. Uh, he looks like he's a little bit hesitant. Let's see, stop driver. I don't know what he's going to do here. Uh, let's see here. Um... And, um, oh, I did update to the latest, I think I said this in the last episode, I'm not sure, but I did update to the latest patch. Um, it is patch uh, 2.1b, uh, which kind of came out, I think, towards the middle of last week or maybe end of last week to address some of the problems uh, that people were having with the first 2.1 patch. Um, and, and again, since I've downloaded the patch, I've noticed some occasional pausing. Um, let's see, he's not going to have anything, so he's going to go on through. And hopefully we'll line back up with the, uh, with the harvester here. I don't want that. Um, sometimes it does help. Let's see here to put this on manual um, not always but sometimes it does let's see offset width for some reason the offset width doesn't seem right to me oh gosh let's see what happens here yeah I don't think this is right I think we had this something more like six point something right um see here stop driver I'll just back up maybe drive the course again <clears throat> there now he's going over there we go all right so yeah I'm not sure why it didn't save that um, maybe it saves the offset with the course uh, so maybe I don't know maybe I need to resave the course I don't know so I'll let this run for now I just want to kind of stop up here see what this guy's doing looks like he's gotten into a bit of trouble so I'm gonna stop him okay he has picked up a little bit of canola let's back up and then now that uh, he's out, we'll go ahead and uh, stop. Let's put him on the field first. Because I think we might have to turn this combine around. Yay. Everybody knows how much I love. This, this field is kind of tough because it has this weird... Hey, what's he doing? Deny. JCB is in traffic again. Okay, so he's turning back around. That's good. He's only 30. Okay, let's go check out this JC. Okay. All right, he's doing all right. Let's check out our corn here, see what's going on. Um, why don't you get out of the way, buddy, so my harvester doesn't get confused. Okay, he's doing all right. Um, let's check out what's going on over here. 
Okay, we're missing a little bit of corn. Not a huge, huge deal. I was hoping to get some more mowing missions. Uh-oh, it looks like uh, we got a truck. Well, not really uh-oh, but looks like we got a truck filled with, uh, or pretty full of barley here. I don't think we have any great demands at the moment. Nope. No great demands. All right. So he's heading back. All of our harvesters are doing a great job. JCB8310 has reached the overload point. Let's check him out. Okay, he is overloading, and oh, I don't have this guy on the route, so <clears throat> I'm gonna just have him drive the course. That way, he'll uh, he'll go over to the uh, the drop-off point, and then I again the way this map is set up because you j you have to back the uh, tippers in you I'll have to actually take over manually unfortunately um oh one thing I should be doing is I'm gonna just uh, turn my chopper off here let's see here disable chopper in and uh, we'll start laying down some hay that we'll come back and pick up later with our um, our forage wagons, you can see them over there. I do also want to buy a couple more uh, forage wagons. Let's see here. I think, okay, the other one is, I don't know, probably a little bit more than half filled with hay. Um. Man, we have so much corn to harvest. Looks like he's got about another swath or two to do, and then we'll be able to get this guy going um, over here. I think this is, is that field 15? Yeah, 15. We'll get him harvesting. Um, as soon as I get some mowing missions here, uh, which hopefully we can do. Okay, lizard truck has reached reached the waiting point, which is going to be right here. So what we're going to do is we're going to stop the driver. I'm going to pull forward just a tad so it's a little easier to back in. And there we go. 800,000 and counting, so we'll have at least 850,000, I would guess. Oh, yeah, way more than that, 860, maybe. Maybe, maybe, baby. Oh, 855. Quite a bit. All right, so I'm going to drive him out a little ways past the parking point here, and I'm going to just tell him to drive the course, and he'll drive back, take the rest of the uh, load off the... Um, overloader and uh, we'll be back on our way <coughs> um one of the one of the other things I bought I'm not sure if I showed this to you in the last episode oops let me turn that off is the uh, Ursus front loader oh yeah we did uh, we we picked up one of the bales didn't we um so, uh-oh, somebody's messaging me on my phone. Sorry, guys. Um, so let's go and uh, pick up some... Pick up the last set of bales here. And we'll take, we'll take these up and sell them. And then we'll check on the uh, overloader, I guess. That seems like a good plan. 
I'm sure you guys agree, right? Right? Right. Um, speed up a little bit. Slow down. Oh no! <gasps> oh no! <laughs> oh man! They need to make these things a bit more sticky, I think. Alright, so let's just keep it, I guess, on speed two. Because we never have problems like that. Oh, come on. Come on, speed up. I do like this Ursus. Um, I think I showed the interior to you guys. Um, basically, it's it's the uh, Ursus, if you can see the number, the uh, 15014, or the 15014 model, I guess. Um, you can actually get this as a front loader or as just a normal tractor. The front loader is a little bit more, but both are actually really affordable. Uh, they're not the most powerful, but honestly, um, <clears throat> you know, they get the job done. And uh, I, I like the color because it reminds me of our of the Kubota that um, is up on our farm. All right, we'll just swing around here and here in a moment. Uh, okay, so we got 333,200 approximately, 37,000. So we got what? what did we get like 5,000 from that? That's not too bad. For just feeding uh, sheep some hay, or no, not hay, grass. Hay, grass, straw, whatever. We be feeding them. Um, I should probably go down and check on the John Deere uh, combine. So I'm going to drive this back really quick and I'll go over and check on that one. I need this guy to drive the course. Okay, the jump. Come on, drive the course, buddy. Ah, big pause. All right, I'm just going to have to... Oh, yeah, overgrown real estate. Yeah, let's do that one. Drive now. I don't know why this little section has failed to grow. Uh, we'll get a combine up here eventually and, um, you know, <clears throat> do this field. Yeah, see, I'm getting those pausing, the pauses again. Let me turn this menu off. Let me turn the course play menu off. I think I showed you guys the little uh, Lindner Unitrack in the last episode. If not, here it is. Um, this has the forage wagon attachment on it. I think it holds like 11,000 something forages. <laughs> no, it doesn't actually hold forages. It holds what you foraged, right? Right. Right. And I'm just going to put him on drive course. And uh, he'll pick up. He actually doesn't even have enough room to do one full pass. But, um, you know, it's a little bit of extra money or grass if we need it. Um, found it kind of uh, convenient to pick the grass up this way. And I'm just, uh, I just have him doing the uh, grass mowing course. So because the, uh, the back of the forge wagon is a little bit smaller plus it's also not articulated um, course place probably designed for the in-game forge wagons that are when I say articulated I mean you know they're coming off or you know they're attached to the back of a tractor um, so this is actually a hey, this is actually a little bit more uh, maybe I don't know convenient I'm gonna go to the purchase menu here um, do I want to get a mod 
I was wanting to get one of these guys, like a 680. I don't want the really wide tracks, though. I've already got a 990. <clears throat> we get the S650. We could get... I actually kind of want to get the Lexion version 2, which we're still short on. Plus, we need the head, which the header... Is it this one? Oh, no, that's for the new Holland. Is it this one? I'm going to say it's this one since it's the version 2. It's 12 meters width. So I'll probably end up buying that. So we need, gosh, we need a lot more money, don't we? Well, I guess I could get a loan since we don't have any loans right now. Oh, yeah, I was going to check on our forage wagon, which has awesomely stopped the harvester fail. Get out of his way. Don't you know any better? I keep thinking course play is smarter than it is, and you know, I disappoint myself every time, right? Alright, so I'm gonna put the pipe out. <clears throat> I'm just gonna offload this last little bit of corn, and then this guy is gonna head back to the garage. Or no, not the garage, but the drop-off point. And then I'll take this up to the uh, field. Was it 15, I think? I know which field I'm talking about, and I'm sure you guys know too. All right. That guy should be driving the course. Why is he not driving the course? Oh, he should be driving. Linder Unitrack is in traffic. Oh, that's because he's pulled up behind the mower. And this obviously is going to be the super awesome, exciting drive back to the... or up to the other field. Actually, what I should do... I'm going to just have him drive this now. I don't know why he's not driving. I'm gonna have a different. I think I'm gonna have a different uh, tipper combo working with the with uh, the 7130. Uh, I bought a new tipper. Uh, actually, I think I bought two new tippers. I don't know if I bought them. In, did I buy them in the last? I think I bought them la You know, y yesterday night when I was recording the episode that I lost um, because I don't know. I failed. I don't know. I've been having weird issues with. Um, OBS lately where it's not starting to record the the only thing I don't like about OBS is you know there's not a tally light or any, anything like that like there is with fraps that um, you can set up um, you can actually set the uh, um, with fraps you can set the the FPS counter to change colors or actually it might even automatically do that it'll <clears throat> it'll actually change colors um, when you are um, recording so you know that you're recording um, with with OBS, um, sometimes I'll need to actually tab out of the game, check the OBS screen, make sure it's recording, and then then go back in. And luckily with OBS, it doesn't crash my game or crash you know the OBS software when I do that. So that's pretty good. Um, so there's that. So I think I'm gonna I'm gonna get my uh, ooh, mowing star. Yes. Get us a little bit more money. Drive course, drive now. But I'm going to get this one, my trusty Bradham 73 fence here. I still think I'm going to set this up so that it will... Um, I think I'm going to eventually set this up with a different sound file so that I don't get that weird compressor sound. Um, oh, I need to right click. And I need to load. This is field 15, right? Right? Yep. PGA, we don't want that one. We want field 15 offload. 
Put them on combine mode and drive the course. And hopefully he doesn't drive off into oblivion, which he's doing. Whoops. Hey, what am I doing? Oh. <laughs> um. Close the door. There we go. <clears throat> I can't remember exactly where the course markings are for this route. I think it's somewhere around here. There we go. So he's going to go out into the middle of the field. Hopefully this won't get us into any trouble. And I'm gonna switch back over here. Okay, so he's doing good. Alright, let's... Oh, okay. Still doing good here. Got a John Deere over here that's not really up to much. Um, we have this guy. Oh, the, the Lindner. Or no. The Hurley Man. I can just take him back to the barn. I don't need him sitting out here picking his nose. get like a baseball field mission so that um, you know we'll get you know good 30,000 well like 28,000 something like that because um, that'll definitely help us out and then I can get the loan for the rest that won't be that big of a deal there's our compressor sound yay all right and I'll just uh, I'll just put him here in the barn or in the shed here the car porch the tractor porch our grass cutter. Oh, we have a full. We have a full load of grass here. Sweet. Oh, this is the other. This is the Lamborghini, the the R7 2020. I think this. I think I got this as a bonus for buying the game direct from uh, Giants last year, or you know, whenever I bought it. Gosh, it's been so long ago, I don't even remember. Isn't that sad? It's so sad. Don't cry, guys. And I'm going to start filling up this. I'm going to start filling this up. Let's see. There. Silage, I think, goes in there. Grass goes there, and hay goes there. Okay. It's been a week or more since I've loaded one of these up, so I tend to forget. Actually, no, I don't really tend to forget. I was pretty confident that it was the, the middle one, but, you know. Back it up there, and um, you can actually see the hay going up. Yeah, so, so instead of it being grass, it kind of converts it into hay, which is good. And this one full load should uh, be enough to fill it up. And, yep, it's at 100%. Good. And we've only got 5% left. So, got a little bit, a little bit, but that's all right. Ah. Now what I can try to do, <clears throat> I can try to fill this, um, the cow bin up the rest of the way with grass. Oh, I guess he's already full. All right, well, they don't need any grass then. And uh, this guy here, I should be able to just tell him to drive the core. Oh, wait a second. I'm going to set him up at the beginning of the field to drive the course. That way, um, 
he'll just go right on course. Right? Right. Let me get him turned around here. Mowing star, yep. And now I'll have him drive the course. There we go. All right, mowing star over here. Come on, there we go. Drive now. Uh, let's see what our let's see what this guy's doing. Drive course. Not exactly sure what he's gonna do. I guess he's gonna go offload the combine or the sugar beet harvester. When you're doing all these fields, I mean, it really takes a lot of work. It takes a lot of, you know, kind of coordination to know, uh, you know, where everything is. Like right now, what in the world happened out here? Let's see, stop driver. <laughs> I think somebody had a wreck out here. Not exactly sure what's happening here, but we'll have him uh, offload this grain. Where's our other truck? Where's our other combine? Okay, there's our other combine. Where's our other truck? Did he? Maybe he's going back to. Okay, he's over there. And I think I'm just going to go down Class X on Terra Track. Oh no, I still don't have enough. Oh no. I thought I would have enough. Okay, now I do. Now I have enough. I was thinking, no. I'm going to buy that one, <clears throat> and then I'm going to need about 80,000. What the heck is he doing? Wait, 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 wait. No, no, no. Hire. Fire. Ah, what is he doing? I guess I'm just going to pick up the rest of this grass since, um... Our combine had some problems here. Oh, he was turning around because he there wasn't any more... Any more... Did I say grass? Bali. I meant Bali. Um... <clears throat> yeah, I'm just going to kind of get him out of the way. And actually, I can probably get these guys out of the way too. Drive course, drive now. I do the same to the other truck. It's going to drive them. It's going to drive them back through to the other or to the farm, I think. Um, but oh my gosh, it should put them all back on course, so that'll be good. And this, okay, this guy's full. Okay, good. He's full. He's gonna, is there any sugar beets? Nope, the other trailer's completely empty. Oh, I really like this JCB. Oh, um, earlier this week, or actually, was it Friday? This last Friday, um, I actually had kind of a family get together because there's a bunch of birthdays in the family and, so we all got together and um, <clears throat> uh, anyway, on the way to the birthday celebration, I passed a dealer, uh, a JCB dealer here in the United States. So that was pretty cool. Um, I couldn't really tell what the tractors are, but they looked a lot like this one. So maybe it was, maybe it wasn't, who knows. But I thought that was kind of nifty. Okay, so it looks like this is offloaded at least once. So that's, we're going good here. Let's see how this guy's doing. He's doing good. Okay, 
for for whatever reason, this um, the one tipper here kind of always has problems picking up the first load. Usually, if you know, once I intervene, um, you know, I don't have that problem again. I think somebody suggested that I like set the um, oh I can't enter course play because I'm that I set the um, you know start the, uh, uh, the the tractor or the course down by the starting point so I might actually redo the course for this sometime um, I'm gonna do some more experimenting with that oh and let's go check out our new combine Ooh, look at that look at that monster and I love the beacons on these things. Home, boom, boom. They actually look like actual beacons with the rotating lights. Um, definitely super awesome. All right, so let's, uh, let's get a loan. I think we need like 81,000. I want to get a little bit extra. So let's do 100,000. Um, and we'll get the header for this. Hopefully this is going to work. Class Vario, please work. All right, there's the header. Oh, <laughs> I wasn't expecting to hear that backup sound. That was kind of cool. I'll go on. A, I'll go out on a limb, and I'll 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 say that that probably was recorded off of a real class Lexion. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. And as you can see, we have all controls in German, so I have absolutely no clue what the heck this behemoth does. <gasps> ah! No! Okay. <laughs> Can't go down that road. I hear a little bit of a click in the audio file. That's probably going to come through on YouTube, so it's kind of faint. Uh, it's probably a result of the uh, loop in the audio file. Um, that's really going to annoy me. Um, the original one did not, I don't believe, had that problem. All right, so we're gonna get this guy going, and uh, we're gonna need to see what what tractors we have that aren't really doing anything. Okay, so okay, this guy's finished. Um, he needs some gas though. Let's go ahead and fuel him up, <clears throat> and we'll get him going on what is it, field number seven or something like that. I love this little Jeep. It's got some jack stands. It's got a hydraulic jack. It's got a, I don't know, there's like a cord. Looks like maybe it's an air compressor. Uh, there's like a little fuel thing in there. Or not, a, yeah, there's like a blue fuel canister. I don't know, maybe that's like hydraulic fluid or something. Um, what else does, it, oh, and there's a vise. That's pretty cool. All right, so let's jump out of this. Jump in here and we'll refuel this guy. The uh, the John Deere here, um, the S690, again, this is uh, the one from Big Boss Modding, um, which I think is like bigbossmodding.co, if you guys want to check it out. Um, they definitely consume gas more, quote, realistically, end quote. And um, so, I don't know, some people might like them, some people won't, because uh, they do consume gas even though, you know, uh, you've got the hired worker. So it's definitely going to be a bit more realistic. I don't know if this is part of the whole more realistic mod. Uh, I, don't, I, I don't know if this is compatible with that or not. I don't use the more realistic mod, so, you know, it doesn't really affect me, I guess. Uh, what do I have? On, what did I have on those two fields? And canola, okay, so I got canola up there too. All right. Almost finished. Man, this thing takes a long time to refill. 
you would think with a tank this huge, gosh, a thousand liters, how much is that? I mean, that's got to be, I don't know, that's, just, that's like 400, like, yeah, it's like, well, more than 400 gallons, I would think. All right, so let's go ahead and start him up. You have to hit the Y key twice to start him. Because you have to, like, prime the engine or something, and then you have to hit Y again to actually start it. And I do have the uh, cutting head, the cutting head attachment for this, um, which supposedly gives you a slightly better yield. Um, I haven't done any experiments to actually determine whether or not that, you know, yes, it actually does give you a better yield, but I'll take the modder's word for it right right now I oh shoot you know what I realized I don't have a course play route set up for this field yet so that's a problem I'll have to uh, offload you manually not that big of a deal it's been a while since I've done that I think I can probably handle that I could be wrong but I'm thinking I probably can Oh, and let's go ahead and drop that off, <clears throat> and then I'm gonna go and pick up. I'm gonna pick up the uh, other tipper. You know, I could buy a semi. Well, no, I can't because I don't have enough money. I could get another $100,000 loan, but then I would be heavily in debt again. Not that I'm not going to make all that money back <laughs> with all this crop that I'm harvesting right now. So maybe in the next episode, um, when, we, when we come back... Um, I'll be able to set up the course play routes for fields, pretty sure it's 7 and 11, and we'll eventually have to do one for field number 1 as well. Field number 1, you probably want to set that up with a semi-truck, that way it'll take the biggest load back. Um, also probably want one of the, the large, there, there's one another pause, don't know what's causing that guys, and I'm sorry. Um, yeah, there we go. There's the class. He's like, he's like, offload me. Come on, don't. Man, I just love, I love the way those look at night. Those suckers look so awesome at night. Uh, I don't like the way the sound kicks in, but it is what it is. See, I'm starting to get uh, really pausey here. I'm finding that the uh, the tractor is not precisely lining up with the speed of this harvester um, I'm probably it's probably being caused by the ES limiter so I'm gonna have to hit speed one to speed up just a tad and then speed four which is supposed to match the speed of the harvester but in this case does not that's still a cool looking comp ah! It's still a cool looking combine though. Oh, and oddly enough, or I don't know, maybe this isn't really that odd. Uh, when I was driving past the JCB dealer, um, I took a really quick picture of it with my iPhone and I shared the picture with some friends. Or no, 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 it wasn't with my iPhone. It was, um, I was looking at it on Google Maps and um, I, I realized that they actually had a uh, class brown baler there, which I thought was kind of interesting. 
And lastly, we're going to see how are we doing on Canola. I think he's doing all right. Let's tab over. Okay, so he's only like halfway full. All right, guys. Well, let's see. Let's go down. We'll check on this dude. I'm going to have him drive now. Um, <clears throat> I think I'm going to close out this episode here. Um, you know, we're still working on this big massive harvest and there's only going to be more of these to come um I'm, I'm gonna start trying to do some shorter episodes um i for the longest time i've been doing like hour-long episodes and um i was actually kind of looking at you know my videos and you know to try to find out you know what's the optimum length of a video and what i what i discovered was the vast majority of of you guys that watch um, don't watch for the full, you know, hour. Um, I, th I think for like my hour long videos, the average watch time was like, I don't know, four or five minutes or something or six minutes. Um, a lot of that probably has to do with people just clicking the video and then being like, Oh, you know, and exiting out. That's fine. Um, while others, you know, just probably don't watch it. Um, so I'm going to actually start trying to, to stick around, you know, 25, 30 minutes, maybe a little bit less. Um, so let me let me know what you guys think. Um, you know, I know that some of you guys really love the longer episodes, but I thought, well, maybe, you know, maybe I can actually do more, you know, you know episodes more often, but they'll just be shorter, you know. So let me know what you guys think about, you know, if I did that. Um... And I'll just uh, back this in here, and um, we'll start to offload all of our sugar beets. Um, so yeah, um, so I, yeah, I've been thinking about just doing like some shorter episodes, and then maybe you know every couple weeks do like an hour long or something like that. So I don't know. I haven't really made up my mind, you know. But I am gonna do a few episodes uh, that are a bit shorter. You know, and I'll just kind of test the water, see what you guys think, and then based on that, I'll figure out what I want to do in the future. All right, guys, well, that's it for now. Uh, this is Farming Simulator 2013 Titanium Edition. I am Bradham73. Thanks again for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share, and comment. We'll see you next time. Bye for now.